Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new session on dentistry and more. In today's session, I will be demonstrating you a shade selection by Vita Toothcare 3D Master. It's a commonly used uh, shade selection tool in most of the dental clinics. So it's a very easy method. Uh, commonly, uh, there is no much uh, difficulty in uh, selecting a particular shade. All we need to uh, do the matching with any of these uh, shades with our natural tooth and do the selection but uh, it's good to know that uh, there is a theory behind this that is based on the property of color uh, that's how we uh, do the proper selection by a three step method so in today's video I'll be explaining about the three step method of shade selection based on the properties of color so if you like my video to subscribe for more dentistry related videos so the three steps involves based on the value chroma and hue so these are properties of color so before going into detail about this uh, 3d master guide let's see what is value what is chroma and what is hue so the value is nothing but the lightness whether the tooth is lighter or darker so you can see here in the tooth guide we have five values that is one two three four and five these are the value numbers so it is based on the lightness so the one is very lighter and the five is darker so it is a lightness whether the tooth is lighter or darker that is the first property one two three four five so the second property is chroma or the saturation so you can see that as you go downward the saturation increases as you go downwards the saturation increases in all sectors so the least saturated one is the topper one and the most saturated one is the bottom one in each value okay so it is 1 1.5 2 2.5 2.5 so the least one is always at the top of the shade guide and the most saturated is at the bottom part that is 3 okay the next one is the hue property of hue it is nothing but the wavelength of a color it based on the wavelength of color so in the visible light spectrum we know uh, the various uh, colors what a human can see so it is denoted here as L, M and R. So L is nothing but yellow, M is a middle hue and red, R is a red. So it is yellow is to red color. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the value it based on the lightness or the dark dark uh, shade towards the down it is a chroma or saturation it is the intensity of hue as you come downward it is the most saturated tooth you can see at the bottom level and the third property is hue or wavelength that is color so you have yellowish and reddish section it is denoted as L R and M M is a middle hue it is a middle part of this spectrum so you can see that I have mentioned it here as you go from left to right it has become yellow to red just like here it has becoming red not exactly red but the yellowish and the reddish uh, wavelength and the middle part is middle hue so each value that is in each value sector we have one representative tooth this is one sample tooth this is the sample tooth of value 1 this is value 2 this is value 3 this is value 4 this is value 5 
select the shade of natural tooth of a patient it is based on value chroma and hue so hue is nothing but the yellow to red color this is mentioned here l m r and the saturation level you can see it i can show you the saturation level is mentioned here you can see if i spread it out you can see uh you can see i hope you can see one uh two three you can see this bottom one two three are the saturation so similarly in uh light uh, light and red section also it is there 1.5 and 2.5 that is saturation you can see 1.5 and 2.5 it is saturation chroma values okay so these are the three properties of color ba based on these three properties we select the shade so the first step is when we have a natural tooth to select we take this and we take a gross selection based on the value we keep this uh, 3d guide on the patient's face and select a gross selection so you can see whether the tooth is uh, near to the color of 1m 2m 3m 4m or 5mm it is based on the lightness you can just see whether it is corresponding to any of this color so suppose you take you get the value 2 that is 2m you get the value 2m so you have selected uh, your natural tooth is close to the value 2 that is first property of color so this is sample tooth so this we keep for uh, reference so we have selected 2 so next what we have to do is we have to go for the chroma so now we take this then we fan it out we spread it out then we see which is coming closer to the natural tooth in saturation so we can see which is coming closer to the saturation so we have 3 that is 1 2 and 3 saturation this saturation level suppose we take 1 that is saturation 2m1 we have selected 2m1 is a saturation level that is the one is a saturation level or chroma value for our natural tooth so our value is 2 and chroma value is 1 okay so we have selected the value 2 and chroma value is 1 that is very lighter in category so next we have to select whether it is coming to the yellow region or right region so we have to select these two we have to first see whether it is coming so this is a lighter or so since we have taken the one we have this uh 1.51 that is 1.5 hope you can see this this is Uh, two we two we don't need to see because uh, one we have taken we can see yes 1.5 so this is a yellowish side considering hue and this is on the reddish side okay and considering hue so since we have taken one so we have to go for yellow or red yes so this is red so this is we are not checking because our chroma value is 1 so we have to see whether it is coming to yellow side or red side so we are selecting the red side the tooth is natural tooth is coming to red side just like an example we are taking this on the red side so we got our hue value that is on the red side okay so don't get confused with value the value first i mentioned it is 2 so the hue score i can say hue score is on the red side 
so we got finally our tooth is 2R 1.5 so that is this tooth okay so 2R 1.5 so this tooth okay so this is a tooth 2R 1.5 this is our final selection okay so you might have few doubts because uh, there is only three teeth with respect to the value 1 and three teeth with respect to value 5 actually one is missing here I'm sorry for that uh, only 1M2 and 1M1 is there so there are supposed to be three teeth here also three teeth suppose we select the value number 1 or 5 1 or 5 we don't have the yellow or right hue options we have to select one out of these three one out of these three so it all comes under middle hue category the hue will be middle hue there is no yellow or there is no red category so that is for value one or five we are selecting our growth selection the first step of uh, selection the value we are selecting we match the representative tooth uh, 1m1 uh, 1m2 sorry 1m2 or 5m2 so if our tooth the natural tooth is corresponding to the value 5 or 1 that is 1m2 or 5m2 we have to select 1m these three so that is automatically become the particular tooth because we don't have to uh, go for the yellow or red because uh, there is no yellow or red uh, hue categories for 1 and 5 so next we have to go for the saturation so we need to select one among these three so we need to select either 1m1 1m2 or 1m3 first we select the value then we go for the saturation or chroma value there is no hue value here similarly if uh, we are selecting our value score 2 3 or 4 that is our value 2 3 or 4 and our chroma score is 3 that is fully saturated or most saturated here also we don't have a yellow or red hue section we directly need to select this tooth so we are selecting first our value that is 2 3 or 4 then we are going for chroma value so we'll be selecting we'll be taking this and we'll be uh, checking the chroma value and if we get this chroma 3 that is the this tooth this is chroma 3 you can see this is chroma 3 the bottom 3 that is chroma value that is saturation so we have to select this only that is 2m3 will be our final selection because it doesn't have a yellow or uh, red tooth but for the chroma or saturation score 1 or 2 has on either side yellow or right variant that is 1.2.5 2.5 1.5 1.5 so this 1.5 is the red variant that is our score was chroma score was 1 so that's how we select uh, our uh, shade of natural tooth first we have to see the value then the chroma then the hue uh, hope you understand it it is very easy technique uh, even if we don't know the theory there's no complication we can just check the each tooth with our natural tooth and um, select the particular shade but it's good to know that the theory behind uh, the shade selection that is three step theory based on the properties of color hope you like the video to subscribe for more dentistry related videos. Thank you.